Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Well, as you guys can see, I got something really cool to take a look at today. This is a K11 Max brushless gel blaster firing drone. Picked this up on Team a while back, probably overpaid, I paid about 50 bucks for it. I found it on AliExpress here for about $33 with free shipping. So I should have bought it there. I'll put a purchase link to AliExpress down in the video description since it's much cheaper there than on Timu. But it didn't take long. Timu is pretty quick to ship. I just thought this thing looked really cool because you got these gel blaster balls. Now I have some of them already in the container here because I have these machine guns that I've used on the channel a while back to use the exact same balls, same color. So I didn't actually have to open up the ones that were included with the drone. So I already had some ready and they're in here in the attachment on top of the drone. Now it has brushless motors. That's good because you have to lift up this gun if you do have it attached. Now you can remove this. You can just pop it out. You can see there is a wire you have to attach in here. So you can attach that if you want to use the gun. Now, even with the brushless motors, it's going to be a bit of a clumsy flyer. It's not going to be super, super um, stable, I don't think. Despite the fact that it does have optical flow, that's going to use the downward facing camera. To look at the ground to help hold position, which ought to help you to be able to fire a little more accurately while also using the front camera on this drone. But you can take it off and it's going to fly better. For certain, it's going to fly longer if you don't have this attached. So they also mentioned, I just said it has optical flow. The optical flow is going to look at the ground and it looks for, you know, different things in the ground that it can um, recognize, help hold position. Now, in a little test flight here in the basement, the drone's still wanted to drift backwards. And that could just be the concrete floor in here. It can't see well um, to, to recognize patterns. But I did have the gun attached. So I do think that just the way this, uh, this is going to make it drift. Now this does weigh, I don't know the exact weight, but I did weigh it. It's under 200 grams, so it's below, below 250 grams. So if you're in the US, you don't have to worry about any kind of remote ID or anything like that on this drone. Now it's just powered by a 1S LiPo. Just pop it out here in the back. Uh, all these really budget brushless drones have been coming out. They just use 1S's, but since this is so lightweight, that's probably fine. I can't quite read um, the capacity it's 1000 and something but that's pretty common for uh, these kind of little drones it uses a micro usb connection here to charge this little red light on the battery they'll turn on it's charging and go off and it's done they give you uh, the charging cable in here and uh, some extra props as well and then here is 3000 of the little gel balls. Now you're going to put it in something like this. They don't give you this container. Again, this came with my machine gun, but you put these into a container with water. I would advise using distilled water just so that it doesn't have contaminants in it. Um, they, they suggest that though. I don't know why in regular tap water, you're just going to, these just dry up and go away to a little, they look almost like they do now in here after they dry back up. Um, but yeah, you just put them into container, let it sit for a couple hours, and they'll swell into these full size. I think they also call these Orbeez or something like that. My kids are well aware of what these are. But yeah, they give you quite a few of these. Like I said, I already had some of them laying around. And you just, this unscrews. I'm not gonna take it off since it's you know, got the balls in there. And just turn it upside down, pour them in there. Then you need to have the gun upside down to screw it on, and then you, and then you can attach it to the drone, or you can do it with it attached to the drone. Also, it comes with this really, I think, kind of nice hard carrying case. Just plastic, but you know, it gives you cutouts in the foam here so that you can, uh, here's the instruction manuals, but put the controller and the drone, and most importantly, the gun, if you're not using it, so that it know, you don't know, have a place to actually store that, uh, which is kind of nice compared to just having it come randomly in a box. So I do like that. Um, and you also, here's the controller. Now, I mentioned it has the three cameras. I'm gonna discuss that in just a moment, but you have your phone clip holder here. So you put your phone in here. Uh, the app, I believe, is called the KYUFO app. Let me just double check that on my screen here. Yes, KYUFO, generic Play Store app that other drones use. But this one, um, will let you access the front camera. It'll also allow you to access the optical flow camera. Now, it's one of these two, I think it's this right one. Not, I, both these look like cameras, but one of these is the downward facing camera. And it's gonna look at the ground, as I mentioned. You can actually view that. It's a very poor quality camera, but you can view that 
within the app, you can switch between the downward and then the front camera. So if you want to look at the ground, you can. Um, since this isn't going to look all the way down, probably as well, the front camera is this is motorized, so you can actually control. You can hear that little servo, but again, it's not very good quality. In terms of the front camera, as you probably noticed in the title of the video, if I, I probably will include the name of three cameras because they advertise that here, three cameras on the side here. Um, I don't know if they have it on the front. They right here. It says three cameras. Um, it's a gimmick. It, it is trying to look like the Maverick 3 Pro that has those three cameras. That's a you know, $2,000 drone. This is 30 to 50 bucks. Um, it does look like there's cameras there, but you just see a front camera. It's HD 720p or 1080p. I haven't checked exactly. It's not very good quality, um, but enough to be able to see like a target or something that you're going to shoot at. But yeah, it doesn't actually have multiple cameras focusing. That's just a gimmick. It looks like three cameras. It's not like those cheap cell phones you buy, buy on AliExpress that looks like they have all these cameras on the back and only one's real and the other ones are fake. That's what this is. So uh, keep that in mind. You can access two cameras, a front and optical flow, but this does not have three functioning cameras. It's probably just the middle bottom, I'm pretty sure, is the actual camera. I could test that by turning it on with attached to the app. I'm probably just putting fingers in front of it. And I'll try to confirm that before the test flight. It also has some really cool LEDs. Let's go ahead and turn it on. You know, hit it power up, and there we got the the camera tends by default to almost look upwards, which is fine whenever you're gonna fly forward, so you actually can keep more of a level horizon. But we'll go ahead and just turn the controller on. Power button here in the middle, and now it's bound up. And you can see it's got uh, these red LEDs on the bottom and it's got green in the front and a blue around the back here. And then a bright white LED in the front. If you're flying this in lower light, this might help illuminate something you're gonna shoot at. But I've already tested a little bit and the shooting it's very, very weak. So it's just, it's about like if you just took one of the Orbeez yourself and just tossed it like this, and not as hard as you can. It doesn't have a lot of velocity. I don't think you need safety goggles. You're not gonna put someone's eye out. It does not fire hard enough. Whereas my machine guns, which are over here, you can't see them. Those shoot really strong and they really shoot fast. So that is an instance where you would need them. This, you don't um, need that. And then the controller, it is of course altitude hold drone. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off because I start pressing the, uh, the controls. I'm going to end up taking off here on the table. So you got on the, on this, Right here is your, on your upper left is your speed switch. It's got three rates. It does increase a little with the yaw and of course in sportiness and pitch. You've got um, some trims over here for your pitch and roll. And then this button here is your auto takeoff and auto landing, which we'll test out. This will let you, these two buttons right here will let you go up and down with the, uh, the camera. So you can look down and look up. And then this button here is the one you will press to fire the gun. We'll hold, hold it down. I, I don't know if it auto fires and you hold it down. I was just randomly pressing it when I did. I'll try to remember to test that, but it's not gonna you know, fire too fast. And then these sticks don't press in so they don't do anything. That's everything on the controls for this drone. And I think we covered everything with this drone. So you know, if there's anything that I missed, I'll touch on it when we get out to the flight review. But overall, I think this is pretty neat. It's sort of a gimmick. Because it goes, this doesn't fire very fast, or, or I should say very hard. But I think with this remove, it'll be a nice little flyer. So you could have a brushless powered drone that has optical flow that, I think the optical flow will work better outside on a calm day, especially with this not attached to gun. And it gives you the option of having this little gel blaster if you wanted to you know, start shooting it at friends or something, knowing it's not gonna hurt them. As a, as a gimmick, that would be pretty cool. What I plan to do is I have some of these uh, targets that come with the gun, the guns that I have, that are water reactive. So when the Warby hits it, you know, it kind of, it's supposed to make a mark. Now, the machine gun fires hard enough that they may explode. I don't think this will. So hopefully there's some water, you know, these have some water residue on. Hopefully that'll be enough to at least make a little mark. We'll see. If it doesn't show up on a target, it's because he just doesn't fire hard enough. But that's what I'm gonna put up, probably I'll tape it to my fence or something, 
and we'll fly it there and uh, see um, how well we can actually aim and shoot with this. It's gonna depend how well it holds position and how easily can we aim with that, you know, toy grade camera on the front of it. It may end up more just be third person eyeballing is what may I'm having to do, but we'll give it a shot with the app. All right, that's enough jibber jabber. Let's get outside and test out how this drone flies. I wanna do a test real quick with the gun attached. How does it fly? Do the target practice. Then if we have battery left, we'll take it off and see how it flies with the gun removed. So let's go outside and fly that. And we'll be right back. Okay guys, let's get the K11 Max brushless drone up here and just do a little fly around here in the backyard. Try to shoot that target over there. I got it all attached. I can tell you, I don't think it's gonna be very stable with this gun on top of it, even with the optical flow. If you're facing towards you, the top right camera, or if it's facing away, the top left camera is the only camera, I have trouble if I try to put my phone up there by, is the only camera that actually functions on this. The other two are just dummy cameras and don't do anything. All right, let's get it up in the air now. And let's see how it flies. I got a screen recording going, as you guys can see there. That's all we need for this. The camera, uh, the recording it in the app is just gonna not have the icons, but it's gonna look identical. It's gonna be 1080p at the very best, so don't fall for the 4K, 8K gimmicks that they claim that this drone has. So let's go ahead and do an auto takeoff. And actually, I'll tell you what, let's, let's land it first. I wanna do a gyro calibration. Let's just, just to make sure we're as stable as we can be. Gyro calibration was both sticks down and out, and it beeps. All right, now let's go ahead and take back off. And the wind is blowing right to left. So let's just hope that this optical flow works so you can see it really is wanting to drift. That's second rate there. I was in the lowest. And now we're in the highest rate. It's gonna be kind of hard to demonstrate too much. As you can see it really, let's see if it settles down here. With brushless motors, we should have some decent power, even on a 1S LiPo, but it, that gun, I also don't expect the flight time to be great with the, with the uh, gun attached. It's not too bad, but it does make me a little nervous. I have no doubt if we're able to land this here and take this gun off, it's gonna fly so much better. We can see it's got a pretty decent yaw. If we go to the lowest rate, the yaw slows, see? And there's the middle, and now we're in the highest. So let's go over here and just see if we can shoot it. Now the instructions mentioned 360 flips. There is a version of this that doesn't have the gun. I think it, that version may work, but you couldn't do flips with this gun attached. I don't know if how easy it's gonna to be to do this because it is just all over the place on me here. That I can't get it, see like it wants to go forward. I got it all the way back just trying to, to calm it down. Let's see if we can just fire it from right here. I can see the target. Oop, I did the wrong button. Trying to shoot the the gun. Let's. Uh, I hear it hitting the fence. But I don't think we're hitting it. It's trying to kind of hold, but boy, it's whoa! Just about hit the fence. It took off on me. It just doesn't hold position well. That is so clumsy with that gun on. It's not supposed to be very windy today, but it is windier than the forecast said it would be. That's for sure. Let's just bring it down here again. It's calmed down a little bit, but it's making me nervous. Let's ease it in here. You just barely. See, it's just not stable. I suspect it's gonna be a lot better with the, uh, boy, it is, yeah, this is not good. Even in the highest rate now, it's got decent power. Don't get me wrong, it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't want to hold position at all. It's, it's got to be that gun. Just a clumsy weight of that on top of it. Extremely calm conditions, it's going to be better. But man, that's, that's not good. Let's just bring it down here and try to fire again. But I don't think we're going to hit that target. It's just I can't keep it stable. Yeah, look at that. I just, I'm trying to. It's just about impossible. The gun is definitely a gimmick there. I'm gonna to try to fire it. 
You can hear it. It's hitting the fence. It, the gun definitely works, but it does not have much power or range. But man, the optical flow, at least with the gun attached, is trash. It just doesn't, look at this, it's just all over the place. Now I realize when you get close to the ground, optical flow won't work as well. So it looks like it might be a little bit better there if you get up a little higher. So do keep that in the mind. You can switch to that bottom camera. Let's see if I switch that. Did that switch it? I can't really tell here. It is calming down some now. Am I looking at the ground? Uh, no, let's see if I switch it. Hell. I can't tell. There, there you can see the, looks like the video feed's frozen. It is, it is, it has calmed down. But we have some video feed because we were doing a screen recording. You guys could see it did freeze up. And at this point, it's, it's pointless to, try to reconnect that. So I'm just gonna go back out of the uh, app and just cancel that. Let's go ahead and fire some more. Like I said, it has calmed down. But I don't think we ever hit that target. I don't see, I can see the balls bouncing. Like I said, they don't shoot hard enough to bust. And, and that is part of the problem. I think I'm getting I can see one mark there. I'll try to I'll take it up here in the air for a second. You see that red mark in the upper right hand corner? It didn't it did hit it right here. So yeah. It, it has calmed down, so I will give it that. But it's just to shoot something lower, the optical flow is gonna struggle even more, and it's just all over the place. So but yeah, the camera is is not the greatest. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna land it here all right what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause the video i'm going to take the gun off and i'll try to reconnect the uh, video so you get a little bit more just so you guys can see and we'll fly it without the gun because i don't think it's going to fly much longer let's just see if it's more stable it's got to be more stable without it so be right back all right i have the gun removed let's go ahead and get it up now and see how this flies with it with it detached i do have the app connected again i had to actually kill the app out and power the drone on and off to get it going these little cheap apps like this, you know, a KYUF like this, they are prone to freezing up. I'm not justifying, it's just that this is not uncommon. So let's go ahead and just take it up in the air now and see how it flies without the gun attached. I think it's gonna be a whole lot better. Now, see, I think we're probably in the lowest rate. Yeah, let's go to the highest rate again since there's a bit of a breeze. Now, I don't know how well the optical flow will work. Again, he saw sometimes it worked okay, but other times it doesn't. Right now, it's still just, you know, not doing much. But I just feel like the drone's gonna fly a lot better without that clumsy weight of the gun on top. But you can see right now, let's get it up a little more. Is it, does it try to calm down at all? Well, see there, it looks like it's trying to hold its position. Let's see if, if we switch to the bottom camera. And there we are. That is the optical flow camera I wanted to show you guys. That's what it's trying to find the whole position. You can see how that could be a problem. And it's just kind of drifting off on us here. So let's, let's take it up and bring it back. And that white light, boy, that's a help if you, if the app would freeze or something. And then we got a little battery. Let's switch it back to the front camera and hope that it switches. I don't know if it's going to. Now we still have a, it looks like the app, no, there we go. I was gonna say, I thought the app froze up. I mean, that's not a terrible flight time in my opinion because, let me see the light flash in the front. Let's bring it over here before it tries to land. We're gonna land it. That's because, you know, that, that all that weight it's just so much weight on a drone. Uh, even with brushless motors on one S to be able to fly with all that on top. But it's not too bad here um, without the gun. It's not super stable. The optical flow doesn't work so great. You see that camera's very, very poor quality on the bottom. But mostly all these toy optical flows have a really, really bad camera on the bottom, probably a 480p or something. 
you know, I think for $32, the price that is listed on AliExpress, I don't think it's terrible. Um, because if you take the, the gun off, it slides pretty sporty. And being able to shoot, you know, you can shoot your friends and stuff. You can, they just bounce off. You can throw these harder than they can shoot. So you're not going to hurt anybody. You're not going to put their eye out. These are just little gel balls. So I do think that that um, it's okay for $32. I really can't complain. Is it great? No. But it's not horrible because the gun does function. And I, again, if you take it on a very, very calm day, and today's not terrible, this, even if it drifts, it's not going to be pushed away because there's no wind. The wind's pushing it today. That's why it always went from right to left. So keep that in mind. This is a little bit too big, though, to fly indoors, especially with brushless motors and no prop guards. You could hurt somebody. So keep that in mind. If you do get this, you need to fly it on a very calm day. Uh, the optical flow just doesn't work well enough. It's just one of these bottom cameras is the optical flow. It looks like there's two, but... All right, guys, so I will include a purchase link to the AliExpress. The team we listed when I got it was like 50 bucks. I overpaid. That's too much because you can get just a brushless drone similar to this sometimes for around $18 to $20, like the uh, one drone I reviewed a while back on the channel. If you're looking for something like that, and it does have a camera, uh, but if you want to pay another, you know, 12 to 15 bucks to have the gun, this isn't a bad, a bad option. All right, guys, that wraps up the review of the K11 Max brushless gel firing uh, gun. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. While you're at it, click the bell. That way you're notified when I do upload new videos. And as always, guys, have a great day. The power of the dark side. side, side, side.